morning and welcome back to the channel guys. This is day one on a new project. This is a uh, shower remodel. It is a tub surround. Uh, this client reached out to us. She was referred to somebody whom we remodeled a bathroom five years ago. She seems to believe that this shower is failing. We did take a look at it. Um, it's a, a bad shower build. The niche is pitched towards the wall. Um, she had a leak detection company come out. I'm not quite sure what they did, but uh, they did provide a final report stating that there is a lot of moisture behind the tile. <clears throat> so it's gonna be very interesting to open up the walls. Um, I believe it's a 20 by 20 porcelain with one niche. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what's back there, if it's uh, bad or if it's not so bad. How much mold? If any of the framing is uh, rotted out, we're not quite sure. So let's load up all the tools for demo. Get a little exercise today and I'll bring you along and uh, show you what we find. Here we go. show you what we are tearing out today. Twenty by twenty porcelain. A little bit of damage on both sides of the tub. Here's the niche. As you can see, a bad installation. And to make matters worse, the sill here is pitched back towards the bay. So I'm curious to see what it'll look like under here. The shower has been dried out for a bit, so let's get right to it. We're going to protect the tub Protect the floor, the floor will stay. Put plastic over that, protect the countertop. Let's start ripping this apart. So we have everything protected. We've got the floor protected here, floor protected here, and then also this tub will remain. It is only five years old, so this is protected as well. It's time to uh, see how easy these tiles come off the wall. Well, there it is, coming off, not a problem. I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty easy demo. So it looks like they back buttered the tile and did not scratch or skim the uh, backer board there. So these should all come off fairly easy. That's a bad bond right there. Fortunately for us, one of the bonded spots. Yeah, it looks like they did a little spot bonding as well to avoid lippage.
Look at that. <laughs> oh man. Look at that, no thin set on this backer board. Didn't scratch it, didn't skim it, just back butter the tile. And it did not stick. I don't know if I can get that on camera, but you can sort of see behind there. Looks like they back buttered and just spot bonded. It's stuck there, 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 here, here. But yeah, bad coverage. So it looks like they did trial the backer board on the back wall. A little more difficult to get this off. Now it's time to tear out the niche. We've made our cuts here. We're gonna tear out the drywall, pull the board all the way around and hang our curdy board. Looks like we have a prefabricated niche back here. Stainless steel. We pulled off four screws of the flange. Saves us a little demo time. So this prefabricated niche really saved them from some damage because there's the seal right there. We put a level on it. It was pitched in towards the back. Alright guys, day one, prepped, demo, board up, waterproofed, niche framed, we're working on tile, that's it for this episode, don't forget to tap that bell notification down there, don't forget to subscribe for part two of this quick and easy build, white, modern, tub surround shower, see you on the next one.